during the early 80s, the thing that united everyone from the hippies to the gay guys was smoking pot. What's a hippie? Someone that rejected conventional values. Oh, and they usually had long hair. Dennis Perone was one of the most famous potheads. He was also gay and brought support and leadership to both the yippie movement and gay rights activism. During this time, AIDS and the side effect of it, wasting syndrome, is devastating the gay population, especially in San Francisco. Even Dennis's partner, Jonathan West, contracts AIDS. During this AIDS epidemic, that, that special yippie, hippie, pothead, gay rights activist, Vietnam vet, Dennis Perone, steps up to provide treatment to the wasting syndrome and the pain caused by AIDS. Marijuana helped stimulate the appetite and helped with depression and the pain when nothing else was available. Then, fate smiled on the marijuana movement in the form of a bust, a bust of an old lady named Brownie Mary who was baking pot brownies for AIDS patients. Dennis used this platform and brought every media outlet he could to shine light and make it a national issue. Of course, she was declared not guilty, and the media was baffled. Marijuana is a medicine? They created a TV facade, the Cannabis Buyers Club. After this aired on TV, this ruse was taken seriously and people started coming to buy cannabis to treat their varying medical conditions for real. And over time, public opinion changed. And after a series of failed legislation and bills, Proposition 215, the Compassionate Use Act, was on the ballot. And the rest is history. Rest in peace, Dennis Perone.